What's up guys, Hexter TCG, the channel that brings you guys competitive Pokemon content. Here with some analysis on top 8 from last night's Hexter Top Deck Tournament Series 2, the first tournament of Series 2. We had 64 players from around the world last night uh, battling it out for some packs and some Hexter points uh, to qualify themselves for the Invitational uh, coming up later in the future as we just started the season here. I wanted to do uh, some analysis here, show you guys what decks performed well uh, in our tournament last night. We run these every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you guys want to take part in these tournaments, make sure you guys click that Discord link in the description below. That will give you announcements uh, in the server when we're having tournaments, uh, as well as the Battlefy links, which will be up on social media as well, but you guys will get those links if you are on the Discord. Uh, and also the Twitch channel down below is where I stream these tournaments live. I commentate the tournaments. I do run these tournaments. Uh, you can catch all the action live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday night at 6.30 uh, down in that description. Click that link. Go follow the channel. We'd appreciate it a lot. So, we're going to be looking at top 8 here. We see uh, the bracket here. Cash and Warwick's for getting to finals. Uh, Justin Lambert, Omega Scizor getting top 4. And Gabe, Ana uh, Noah, and Jake Gearhart, as well as Bunny3 getting uh, top 8 here. So I wanted to go in and take a look at these decks here. Show you guys what was performing well, what was doing well, uh, as well as... Yeah, these lists here, because it's definitely going to be important for Pog testing to see what's been doing well and what you guys need to watch out for. So... Uh, let me go ahead and search these up here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and show you guys PTCGO now. So we'll throw it in and show you guys what decks here. I got all of them listed here and labeled. So we'll go ahead and start uh, with the 8th place deck here. Uh, it's going to be Bunny 3's Volt deck here. Uh, we did see uh, 2 Volt here make it into top 8. So uh, our first placing, our last placing 8th player uh, here playing Volt, Playing a pretty uh, standard list here. A little bit of minimal disruption here. But still got him all the way to top 8. Uh, he's playing 1 copy of Absol here with Dark Ambition. 2... Uh, uh, make the retreat cost of basic Pokemon one colors more to slow them down a little bit here. Uh, it's a great way to help trap things in the active with Vikavolt. So we'll just cover the main boy himself. Uh, Vikavolt using that paralyzing bolt attack for a lightning and a colorless. 50 and item locking here. So the goal of the game is to item lock your opponent. Uh, force them to not really be able to execute their strategy. And then using super zap cannon to finish targets off. Uh, and you do give your opponent items. But you, uh, you just want to take control and pace of the game here with Vikavolt. Other things to note. Tapu Koko Prism Star is a great way to power up your lightning Pokemon. As it gets lightning energy from the discard pile. We'll be covering this card a little bit here in top 8. Uh, it's playing two copies. Copies of Mouse, the Dena GX, Dena Change, letting you discard your hand, draw six. Pretty standard run of the mill here. Uh, one Eldegoss is great to get back those supporters with Happy Match uh, to use, like uh, Marnie Research, all those good stuff as well. And then he also plays one copy of Crobat here, Dark Asset, similar to that Shaming the X ability from years ago. Lets you draw so you have six, can only use one per turn while the deck is only running one. Is uh, you don't you you don't really don't want to use that too too much. So it wants to at least just use that once, and it's a great way to draw yourself cards. And also is playing uh, one copy of Zero Aura GX with Thunderclap Zone, lets all the Lightning Pokemon retreat for free. It's a great way to get uh, your Lightning Pokemon in and out when you need to, making sure your opponent uh, can't stall things, and that you're consistently getting item lock and taking knockouts. Does also play three copies of Jirachi, Stellarish, pretty run-of-the-mill ability in a lot of decks. Let's look at top five, find any trainer card there, put it to sleep. And Marshadow is a great card here with Resetting Hole uh, to bump stadiums, mainly in here to get rid of Chaotic Swell, so that our Thunder Mountain card can stay in play. Uh, Alright, on to trainer cards here. Four Electro Power, boosting lightning damage, pretty standard stuff. Uh, it is also playing, interestingly enough, four copies of Great Ball here. Let's look at top seven, find any Pokemon here. We don't really see a lot of lists going more than uh, four Quick Ball here, but uh, Bunny wanted to increase the uh, Pokemon search outs that he has in his deck. Uh, so playing eight search outs here, making sure he does not want to whiff either turn one uh, or those Vika Volts when he needs to find them, as well as all the other key support Pokemon in his deck. Is playing one copy of Reset Stamp here. Uh, your opponent shuffles their hand to the deck, draws a card for each prize card, so this is a great way, uh, combined with item lock, to uh, basically get your opponent out of the game, right? You want to lock them out of the game here with Reset Stamp. Interestingly enough, playing three copies of Switch, we see a lot of decks right now playing four. Bunny opting to play three copies of Switch here. Uh, interesting choice there. Uh, but, I mean, you just take a little bit of less of a hit. Only has five outs to get out of the active with Jirachi here, so... Uh, wants to prioritize some other cards in this list, just, such as Turbo Patch here. Let's flip a coin, if head, search your deck for basic energy. Uh, attach it to a Pokemon that isn't a GX here. So this is a great way to, out of nowhere, get a Vika Volt powered up, either to continue item blocking or use Super Zap Cannon. Uh, does play one copy of Thunder Mountain here, which lets Lightning Pokemon attack for one Lightning less. We see this in a lot of decks that are especially Lightning Pokemon here. Uh, and it also plays two copies of a Skateboard here to let Arachi retreat for free. Uh, and also if it's asleep and paralyzed, so when it Stellar Wishes and it sleeps itself, it can retreat with a Skateboard. Onto supporters, two copies of Boss, 
Boss is a great card. Obviously, gusting up is very important. And three copies of Marnie here, combined with item lock, is very powerful to get your opponent out of the game, disrupt them, make it so they don't have outs to play, and can't play those item cards with Paralyzing Bolt. And four copies of Research here to find all the cards. This card draws seven. Pretty standard stuff in a lot of decks right now. Onto Energy, playing four copies of Speed Energy. This is a great card. Provides Lightning Energy and lets you draw two when you attach it. So it just improves the consistency of finding all the other cards you need in this deck. So, four copies of Speed Energy is definitely a big inclusion in a lot of these. And it does also play eight copies of Basic Lightning Energy, obviously needing that uh, to attack. And Tapu Koko can bring back the Basic Lightning Energy as well with Dance of Agents. So, it, you always got to run Lightning Energy in this deck. So, that was Bunny's uh, eighth place list here. We'll go ahead and take a look at the seventh place list here. This is, uh, I believe, uh, Noah Allerton's um, Luck Metal Zacian deck, Zam Metal. Playing a lot of copies of Z uh, Zamazenta here. Very, very cool card. We'll get into that in a second here. We'll just go ahead and talk about the main card, Lucario Melmetal here. Full Metal Wall GX lets your like, uh, metal Pokemon take 30 less damage uh, from your opponent's attacks. And if it has an extra energy, you get rid of all energy on your opponent's active Pokemon. So disrupting and ba uh, barricading, so to say, preventing uh, 30 damage done to your metal Pokemon every turn. Uh, from attacks is very solid and helps uh, sort of set up nice math so that you won't get KO'd uh, by opposing Brave Blades, by opposing attacks uh, that could be dealing uh, enough to kill you otherwise. So definitely a card uh, that sort of powers this uh, deck to take pace of the game uh, and sort of just use the resources it has uh, to take control. Uh, it is playing four copies of Jirachi, Stellar Wish. Good card here to find supporters. Interestingly enough, or supporters and trainers, rather. Dustman to Krozma is added in this deck as a one of. Dust Shot is a great way to take care of EX Poke GX Pokemon. My bad, sorry. It's pretty early in the morning, guys. Good way to take uh, care of GX Pokemon here. Uh, does 60 to anyone, not affected by resistance or weakness. Uh, so it's a good way to finish off targets after you hit them with Brave Blade. Uh, speaking of Brave Blade, three copies of Zacian in this deck. Intrepid Sword is a great ability. It lets you uh, attach metal energy to this Pokemon and draw yourself some cards to end your turn. But mainly Brave Blade doing 230 for three. Uh, paired up with Duskmane can guarantee that you take care of those big targets uh, as well as uh, setting up nice math. Lastly, besides the other support Pokemon that we're playing, play three copies of Zamazenta V, uh, mainly for that Dauntless Shield ability, preventing all damage done to it by VMAX Pokemon, which are slowly making their way more and more into this format. So this is a great way to take care of stuff like Senescorch, uh, Dragapult, uh, Eternatus, a bunch of VMAXs here that are pretty cop contenders right now uh, for that Tier 1 and Tier 2 spot in this meta. Assault uh, Tackle also does 130 and discard Special Energy, and Special Energy are making their way back into this format. So a great way to uh, wall out your opponent, which is sort of the uh, game plan of this deck in a lot of cases. Just play two support Pokemon. Eldegoss, again, happy match to get supporters back. Can reuse stuff like Malo and Lana, uh, Boss, Bird Keep, anything in this deck. Anything as a supporter. And also plays one copy of Kurat V for that extra consistency. Dark Asset, again, drawing until you have six in your hand. Very nice stuff. On to Trainers for Acrobike. Again, just a great consistency card here. Let's look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one of them into your hand, and you discard the other card you got there. Uh, so definitely good stuff there. Uh, in discarding or in discarding cards, you can also discard your metal energy that you need to discard and put the cards you need into your hand. So it's sort of a uh, a good two for one here. Uh, so Acrobike is definitely a good card in here. Four copies of Metal Saucer here. Attaches a metal energy from discard pile to one of your bench metal Pokemon. It's a great way to accelerate and get energy into play. Also set up stuff like turn one Brave Blade. You can set up uh, these attacks super fast out of nowhere. And it's a great card in this deck, especially when it's playing all metal attackers. Four Quick Ball to find all your basic Pokemon. Pretty standard card in a lot of decks. Four copies to switch to make sure your Roger gets out of the active. And you can switch these uh, big, heavy three retreat Pokemon, two retreat Pokemon here. Uh, make sure those guys are the active. One copy of Tool Scrapper here to disrupt tools on our opponent's side. Uh, again, wanting to slow down the pace of the game, disrupt our opponent. Uh, and obviously Noah was able to do that here uh, and get rid of these tool cards uh, to allow him to execute the strategy and take pace of this game. Uh, and yeah, uh, other tool cards here. Place three copies of Metal Frying Pan. This is a great card in this deck that we see a lot of. It lets Metal Pokemon resist 30 damage from our opponent's attacks and have no weakness here. So a lot of these fire Pokemon that are making their way into this meta cannot hit for weakness, which is a big deal here. Uh, turn something like uh, a Volcanion hitting for uh, 220 into a Volcanion hitting for 80 damage, which is very, very solid and definitely a big difference here on uh, this deck. And it's also playing two copies of a skateboard. We obviously see that in a lot of decks with four copies of Jirachi or Jirachi in general. On to supporters, one copy of Bird Keeper, new card for Darkness of Blaze, has a great effect here, not only switches uh, active with a bench Pokemon, but also draws three cards, so again, this deck always wants to switch out, set up things, because Metal Saucer only works on bench Pokemon, so, wants to make sure he can Bird Keeper into what he needs, two copies of Boss here, obviously to gust up and switch, 
Two copies of Malolana. This is a great card. Uh, these Pokemon are very bulky, so your opponent's going to be taking many turns to try to kill these things. And Malolana just puts your opponent in an even worse spot here. Healing damage and switching it to the bench. Two effects that this deck loves, so obviously going to be wanting to play multiple copies of that card. Uh, he's also playing three copies of Marnie here for draw support. Great disruption and draw on the side of Zacian. Also wants to preserve some of those cards like Metal Saucer, which would otherwise be discarded by Research, which is all, again, discard draw seven. Pretty standard run of the mill stuff. And to top it off, plays 12 copies of Metal Energy in this deck. Uh, so good stuff there uh, from Noah uh, playing that stuff here. We actually have a lot of Luck Metal here uh, as our sixth place list is, again, another Luck Metal deck. So we'll go through this quickly. Pretty similar list here, but does play a few cards different. Start off with a new card that was not in Noah's list. Uh, Gabe Shimway is playing one copy of Private Wisdom Monkey, which, again, lets you search the top card of, search the top card of your deck with a, a card in your hand. So it's a good way to preserve resources if you're going to play cards like Research. Uh, or if you just want to dig for some more cards, you get to see a top deck uh, turn early, which is always good. One copy of Crobat. Again, Dark Asset. Uh, great way to draw yourself some cards. He's playing a copy of Hoopa here, mainly for that Evil Admonition attack. Ten plus twenty more for each Pokemon on your opponent's side that has an ability. So this is a great way to uh, set up math. Uh, this is sort of in place for Duskmane here to set up nice uh, finishing or two shots uh, combined with Zacian V. Uh, can set up nice math. A lot of Pokemon in this format are playing abilities, as we see m over 60%, I think, of Pokemon here play abilities. So uh, definitely a good card and probably helped give some Venom spot himself a spot in top eight here. One copy of Eldegoss here, happy match float up. We talked about this card. Great against supporters back. Three copies of Jirachi, uh, able to find trainer cards of this deck once. One copy of Lucario Melmetal here, full metal wall. Again, covered this before. Uh, three copies of Zacian, again, pretty standard stuff. Two Zamazenta here, so not the full three Zamazenta that we see some lists be playing. Wanted to go for a little bit more of a uh, uh, less Zamazenta route here. Still playing that though, because this card is very good against these VMAXs as we talked about before. A uh, new occlusion in this deck is Tapu Fini here, uh, mainly for that nature wave attack that lets this attack be used for a colorless uh, if there's any Ultra Beasts in play for our opponent. So this is a great way to take care of Baby Blounds, which is coming back in the meta here. Uh, definitely cemented it so itself uh, as a good contender uh, in some previous tournaments here. Uh, interestingly, I don't think any uh, Baby Blounds were in top 8 or even top 16 of this tournament, so... A uh, little bit falling off here uh, in last night's tournament. Uh, could mean that Baby Blondes could be going downhill for its last ride here. On the trainer cards, a uh, new card here that was not playing that other Luck Metal deck is Crushing Hammer here. That flip a coin of heads, discard an energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Again, this deck wants to take pace of the game, slow down, get rid of your opponent's resources. Gabe is playing that uh, more let me get rid of all your resource heavy uh, approach to this deck rather than just slow you down a little bit and hit hard. Uh, he is still hitting hard, though. Metal Saucer is going to allow him to get there. Uh, let's him attach Metal Energy from his discard pile to a bench Metal Pokemon. We talked about that. Four copies of Quick Ball here to find basic Pokemon. Two copies of Reset Stamp. Again, to Disrupt here. Stamping low is very good in this deck that wants to take pace late game. Four copies of Switch. Again, pretty standard stuff. We're playing Rachi, and we also want to switch out the active. Game is opting to play two Tool Scrapper. Uh, as we talked about, discarding tools attached to each Pokemon play, but mainly we're going to be doing it to our opponent's Pokemon. Uh, so wants to play a little bit more Tool Scrapper, Heavy Disruption, maybe for Mirror Match, uh, for other uses as well. Uh, definitely interesting inclusion here. Is opting to go with Power Plant as the stadium of choice here to shut down EX and GX Pokemon. Obviously GX Pokemon in this format. Uh, so trying to slow down his opponent, maybe combined with a nice Stamp to Low. Uh, and then also playing three copies of Metal Frying Pan to, re to reduce the metal da uh, damage done to Metal Pokemon. And one copy of a Skateboard instead of two. Uh, as he is opting to play uh, for Switch, but only one escape board here. Uh, so values the amount of switching cards he has uh, in Bird Keeper and other supporters. Speaking of Bird Keeper, plays one in this deck to draw cards and switch out. Uh, his Pokemon, two copies of Boss here. Uh, we see a lot of just two copies of Boss in these Luck Metal decks. Only playing one copy of Maulana, still a good card. Played in a lot of these Luck Metal decks to heal and switch the bench Pokemon. And then playing a 3-3 three, three split, uh, 3 Marnie. Uh, each player shuffles their hand at their deck. You get five. Your opponent draws four. My bad. They go to the bottom of the deck. Let me make sure that clears out. The card's right there. You can go ahead and read it. And again, four, uh, three copies of research here. Followed up by 11 metal instead of 12 compared to Noah's list here. Um, definitely an interesting build. A little bit of a different approach here, but both decks sort of want to do the same uh, idea and the same approach here. So, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get into uh, the fifth place list here uh, for the Hegster tournament. Uh, for top eight, the last top eight placing list again is Zacian Luck Metal. So we had three Zacian Luck Metal decks uh, in top eight, and all of them stayed in top eight. None of them advanced to top four. So all three of them actually lost their top eight matches, uh, but still was the most played deck or no, most uh, popular deck in top eight. Uh, three copies of this, or three players playing this in top eight. Sorry, chat. Uh, very similar list here. 
uh, one copy of Oran Guru with Primate Wisdom, one Eldegoss, and three Rachi here. Uh, is playing two copies of Luck Metal though, so wants to prioritize Full Metal Wall, maybe wants to make sure this card is in prize, as it is a big factor and a, uh, a big card a lot of these matchups here. Uh, is playing three copies of Zacian here, so wants to make sure that uh, he can attack with this, uh, use Intrepid Sword, get this powered up, uh, and we see, again, two copies of Zamazenta here, so not going for that full three, uh, seems to be comfortable with just playing two here, feels that two will get its work, and three is not necessary, and to round it out here, playing one copy of Feeny here for Baby Blounds, interesting to note, no other support Pokemon to finish off knockouts, so no Dusk Mane, no Hoopa, just wants to straight go in and attack with the Zacian, Luck Metal, and Zamazenta here. On a trainer's pretty standard stuff, for Metal Saucer, for Quick Ball, uh, and two Reset Stamp, uh, for switch the same stuff we saw in the last luck metal list for gabe's list here uh jake gearhart is the one piloting this deck at fifth place uh so jake definitely knows what he's doing here uh we've got all of our luck metal players here uh being able to advance here seven rounds of competition if i didn't say that already here so five one and one was that record they had to get in with which is pretty crazy stuff uh and definitely well deserved and well earned in this field one copy of tool scrapper again to disrupt tools and the stadium of choice for jake here was chaotic swell uh, feels that no stadium will benefit him, uh, and that Chaotix will be a good way to disrupt his opponent. Uh, playing two copies of that to make sure stadiums do not get down and play. Uh, interesting inclusion here. Plays one copy of Belelaba and Bryson Man here. Most likely for that Eternatus matchup here. Discards top three cards of each player's deck, but that secondary effect, when you play the card, you can discard three cards from your hand, and if you do, each player discards down, or they have three bench Pokemon. Uh, so yeah. Good way to uh, disrupt Eternatus players uh, from getting bench Pokemon uh, and keeping them in play. Uh, so it's a good way to have them discard down. You have to discard down too, but you can get rid of some of the support Pokemon like Eldegoss. Uh, like, yeah, like Eldegoss if you need to get rid of like one of your luck medals. It's a good way to also get rid of your damage bench Pokemon. And again, this deck can also mill your opponent of resources. And sometimes milk is a win condition for this deck. So you can use Belelova to sort of uh, expedite that process of getting your opponent down to zero cards in deck. Uh, the supporters in here, we have uh, uh, one copy of Bird Keeper, switching the active and drawing three. Uh, two copies of Boss, again we see that uh, Jake is opting to go with two copies of Malolana here to heal and switch. Uh, so we're seeing the sort of sweet spots between one and two Malolana here. Three copies of Marnie for Disruption and three copies of Research, pretty sure we saw that in our last Luck Metal list too. And then for two cards, two copies of Skateboard to switch out our Rachi from the active. And then four copies of Metal Frying Pan here, wants to prioritize Reduction to his Metal Pokemon in combination with that Full Metal Wall GX attack. And then is playing 12 copies of Metal Energy, so we also see that mix between 11 and 12 Metal Energy here uh so cool stuff cool stuff indeed there let me see if i could find uh our fourth place list here if it's somewhere here we go all right fourth place list here we got it it is actually justin lambert here uh as so we're moving to top four with vika volt playing a pretty interesting build here wanted to go from a uh a hybrid of turbo and disruption here uh as we'll get into how he plays crushing hammers and turbo patches here uh, so yeah, we'll start out with Pokemon here. Obviously, four copies of Vigovolt. We covered this before. Paralyzing Bolt and Super Zap Cannon, the main attacks here. Paralyzing Bolt to prevent your opponent from playing item cards. And Super Zap Cannon to discard uh, and deal some big damage here. 190 for three. Uh, is playing one copy of Eldegoss with Happy Match. One copy of the Dene GX uh, for Dead Change to discard Hand Draw 6. And one copy of Crobat with Dark Asset to draw cards. Is playing three copies of Jirachi. Stellar Wish to find those trainer cards. He needs one copy of Marshadow for that main purpose to get rid of the stadiums. Primarily Chaotic Swell. So that could be a problem as this deck only plays one stadium card here. Uh, and then is playing one copy of Tapu Koko Prism Star. Obviously, in these Vega Volt decks, Dance of Ancients is a great ability to get Lightning Energy from this card into play. Power up that turn one. Um, my bad, I'm paralyzing Bolt. It's 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 an early morning here, chat. Uh, and also setting up for nice uh, late game pressure here with Super Zap Cannon uh, as well. Sort of getting that attack out of nowhere in combination with Thunder Mountain. Uh, and also playing one copy of Absol here. We see that in a lot of these Vega Volt decks, Dark uh, Ambition. Uh, making basic Pokemon on your opponent's side one colorless more to try to lock and take cheesy knockouts with Paralyzing Bolt, slowly dealing damage over time as your opponent cannot retreat their Pokemon. As a lot of these decks are not playing Bird Keeper and now Lana to switch and only playing Switch, which they can't play under item lock. So, on a trainer cards here, four copies of Crushing Hammer, great disruption card. We talked about this flip a coin of heads, discard energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, it's a great way to slow down the strategy, and Paralyzing Bolt will make it even harder for your opponent to keep finding energy cards. 4e power in all these uh, Vika Volt decks is a staple. Increasing lightning damage, uh, lightning Pokemon's damage by 30. Sets up nice math with Paralyzing Bolt and Super uh, Zap Cannon, so 
Nice stuff there. Four copies of Quick Ball and two copies of Reset Stamp here. Quick Ball to find those basics. Reset Stamp to Disrupt. Four copies of Switch here. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, switch an active with Bench. Uh, this deck wants to utilize getting Rachi out of the active and also getting uh, Pokemon that they want to be powered up with Tapu Koko on the bench. Dance of Ancients only works on the bench Pokemon. Uh, so wants to make sure these Vika Volts are on the bench so they can get powered up by Tapu Koko Prism Star. Playing four copies of Turbo Patch here. Again, it's that flip card. This deck playing eight flip cards. Flip a coin of heads. Basic energy from the discard pile goes into one of your benched uh, non-GX Pokemon that's a basic, which this deck only plays basics, and the only GX Pokemon it plays is the Dene GX. So wants to just get Vika Volts powered up again very fast. Uh, and then for tool cards, plays two Cape of Toughness here. The first time we're seeing this in a Vika Volts deck. New card out of Darkness Ablaze. It says the basic Pokemon this card's attached to gets 50 HP as long as it's not a GX Pokemon. So again, makes Vika Volt a 260 HP 2 prizer. That is <laughs> definitely intimidating. Uh, that's a lot of HP. <laughs> that's a lot of HP. And then one copy of a skateboard here. So that Rachi can switch out of the active. Uh, moving on to Stadium, one copy of Thunder Mountain. The only Stadium this deck is really playing uh, allows Lightning Pokemon to attack for one Lightning less. We've covered this a lot. Three copies of Boss here to switch active with Bench. Want to lock things, take knockouts. A lot of decks are playing Boss. I don't think there's a deck right now in top eight or even in this format that doesn't play Boss, so... And then playing three copies of Marnie. I'm pretty sure three copies. Yep, three copies of Marnie here. Each player shuffles their hand to the deck, puts them bottom. You draw five, your opponent draws four. And then three copies of Research uh, to round out the supporters for this deck. Four copies, my bad. Four copies of Research. And then for Energy, playing 11 Energy. So four Speed Lightning Energy again. When you attach it, it provides Lightning Energy, and you draw two cards. And then seven Basic Lightning here as well. Whoa, excuse me, as well to round that out. Uh, so yeah. Uh, nice job from Justin here, making it all the way to top four uh, with Vika Volt. We see two Vika Volt in top four uh, as we go on to uh, the other Vika Volt player. Let me go ahead and see if I can find the third place list. Uh, here we go. Third place list here. So the other deck in top four was ADP. So we see one ADP here, make it all the way to top four, showing us this deck is not dying and it is still a very strong uh, contender here uh, in this meta, possibly a good tier one deck here. Uh, and very popular nevertheless uh, amongst players. I see it on ladder a lot, and I'm pretty sure this may very well be the most played deck for Pog, uh, and cementing itself as a good deck here tonight, uh, showing it, uh, what it can do here. Obviously playing two copies of ADP, Arceus Dialga and Polkia, mainly for that Alter Creation GX attack. For a metal, your Pokemon do 30 more damage for the rest of the game, but that main thing, if there's an extra water attached to it, you do one more prize card on every knockout. So every knockout you take, you take one more prize card. Uh, so it's a great way to just win the game super, super fast. You want to set this up. Turn one, possibly. This deck wants to get that going second here as it plays support Pokemon and many copies of ways to manipulate energy and get them into play. Uh, is playing three copies of Zacian, obviously for Brave Blade and Intrepid Sword. Uh, Brave Blade is the main attack in this deck. 230, but it does 260 with boosted Alter Creation. So that's 260 for three energy. It's definitely solid. Uh, for support Pokemon and also an attacker, it plays Mawile. We see this uh, actually in a lot more ADP lists recently for that captivating Wink ability. When you play it from your hand into your bench, you can have your opponent reveal uh, their hand and you can bench any number of basic Pokemon you find there. Uh, so getting rid of, uh, getting basic Pokemon such as Crobat, Dedenne, Eldegoss onto the bench uh, without having their ability be used is basically free targets for this deck and a free three prizes essentially uh, with uh, ADP's Alter Creation GX attack boosting that. Uh, so you can win the game very fast uh, in combination with Mawile GX and Boss's Orders here. We are playing three copies of that. I'll just go ahead and cover that quickly. Uh, a great card in this ADP deck to pick off the targets they want to take to take uh, prize cards very fast uh, and win the game pretty quickly. Is playing four copies of Jirachi. Stellar Wish is great to find those trainers they need for turn one, uh, or just in general uh, to get there. Finding bosses' orders, finding energy switch, finding the metal saucers, everything in this deck. A lot of a lot of trainers are being played here, so Jirachi is a great way to go ahead and find those. Two copies of Dene GX. Dene Change is a great way to draw cards uh, during your turn. Uh, this card draw six, pretty standard stuff. Eldegoss we've covered before. Happy Match, great ability to get supporter cards uh, out of the deck uh, and, or supporter cards from your discard pile. Uh, it also plays one copy of Oranguru here uh, with the Primate Wisdom ability, so able to find uh, cards from the top of the deck, switch it with a card from your hand uh, so that you can see a top deck early, and also preserve cards uh, like Metal Saucer and Energy Switch and everything in your deck before you play cards like Research. So it's a great way to keep your resources uh, and uh, sort of ensure yourself, maybe you're missing uh, maybe you're missing an energy in the discard pile and you want to use Metal Saucer, you can go ahead and Primate that on top of your deck uh, so that you can possibly find that next turn here. Uh, so that's all the Pokemon this deck. Trainer cards here. Two copies of Cherish Ball to find GX Pokemon from your deck, such as the Dene and uh, ADP here. Two copies of Energy Spinner to find basic energy. It's a great way to find your water energy from the deck. 
is playing four copies of energy switch here uh this is combined with uh moving energy uh from other pokemon to adp uh so it plays four copies of metal saucer your goal turn one if you're going second is to metal saucer onto your zacian and then energy switch it onto the adp so that all you need to do is attach the water and just like that you can get alter creation which would usually take turn two, two turns to power up excuse me you can get that powered up in one turn which is definitely definitely solid here is playing one copy of great catcher to gust up those gx pokemon on your opponent's side such as the Dene gx to win the game pretty fast uh, we already covered Metal Saucer, four copies of Quick Ball, pretty standard stuff, as well as four Switch to get Rachi the active, and just get anything out of the active. Opting to go for two Chaotic Swells, a Stadium of Choice here, uh, says that whenever a Stadium is played, it bumps as well as your Stadium here, so... Deck doesn't really need a Stadium to function, so Chaotic Swell is a good way to make sure your opponent doesn't get their Stadium they want to function. Uh, we already covered three copies of Boss in this deck here, and it is playing two copies of Marnie here with that disruption and a good draw here, as well as four copies of Research. Deck just wants to draw cards, and Research is the best way to do that here. And for tool cards, often to play two copies of Big Charm. Haven't seen this in a lot of lists here. Gives uh, Pokemon cards attached to 30 more HP, so makes ADP into a 210 HP monster. Zacian, 250 HP, so very, very solid uh, at making it uh, hard to knock out. Uh, nice math there, getting off of uh, certain numbers that can be uh, pretty nice for the opponent uh, to hit. So. Uh, more HP is always better in this format. And one copy of a skateboard here to make sure Jirachi can get out of the active when it uses Stellar Wish. And that's it for the trainer cards. Nine metal energy and two water are the energy of choice here. Uh, and yeah, uh, that was Omega Scizor piloting his deck here. We'll go into the final two decks here. Uh, we have Dragapult here actually going ahead and finishing second place in, tonight's, in last night's tournament. Pretty much a surprise for me here. We thought this deck would be dead with how good a turn this was uh, piloted to be or sort of projected to place and do. Uh, in this new meta here for Pog format from Ultra Prism to Darges Ablaze. But interestingly enough, it got second place tonight in a field of 64 players. I don't think any uh, turn of this got top 16 even tonight. So this could be coming back here. Uh, and just when we thought it we were out of the clear from Dragapult, came back here uh, and wants to reckon and uh, bring its worst on us here. 320 HP, the max Pokemon, gives it three prizes here. Has Shred Attack, but the main attack is Max Phantom here. 130, puts five damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon uh, any way you'd like. So this sets up really nice math here to take multiple prizes. Uh, pick off some of those low HP Pokemon like Jirachi, which we are playing in our own deck, uh, but definitely a solid card here, nevertheless, uh, to find all those trainers uh, it would like to find uh, in this... Uh, or my bad, my bad, we're talking about Jirachi here. But Dragapult wants to be able to set up nice math here. Speaking of Jirachi, plays four copies of that to find all the trainer cards this deck needs, which does play a lot up here so uh, Drachi is a great way to increase the consistency here playing one copy of mine report Mewtwo here a card that we have not seen in any of these other decks here when you bench it it puts a supporter on the top of your deck which pairs really well with Oranguru here which switches the top card of your deck with a card in your hand so you can uh mind report any supporter back and then private wisdom to ensure that you draw into it so you can bring back your boss's orders any of your supporters your bird keeper Malana, Marnie or research Plays one copy of Zigzagoon here with Headbutt Chantra and puts a damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon when you bench it. And we are playing Scoop Up Net, so we will get to reuse Zigzagoon multiple times here. Uh, another good targets for Scoop Up Net here are Garatina with Distortion Door. If it's near Discard Pile, you can put 10 damage on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, so you can reuse this again if you can find a way to discard it here with like Scoop Up Net and Quick Ball or Mysterious Treasure. Also plays a copy of Garatina with Dimension Breach. As special energy are becoming more and more prevalent, this card is becoming even better. Discarding a special energy attached to the active Pokemon on your opponent if you bench it. So, again, you can reuse that with Scoop Net, and it helps disrupt cards like Speed Energy, Opposing Horror Energy. Uh, I believe it's... I forget what the energy is on. Capture Energy, uh, the new Dark Energy. I forget what it's called. Someone in chat remind me, or someone in the comments uh, remind me what the new card is. Uh, but it is play, or the, that card turned into displays as well. Uh, yeah, and that's it for the Pokemon in this deck. Uh, for item cards, two energy spinner obviously wants to find those energy in the deck. And then the search options here, Mysterious Treasure, similar to Quick Ball, discard a card from your hand, find any Psychic or Dragon type. We're only playing Psychic types, not Dragon types, so uh, this is a good way to find your Dragapults. All of your Psychic type Pokemon, Quick Ball again, a staple in a lot of these decks, finding a bunch of your basic Pokemon. Four copies of Scoop Up Net to pick up your cards, like Zigzagoon, Garatinas, uh, your Mewtwo's. A lot of these cards love Scoop Up Net, even Jirachi to get Jirachi out of the active here. So definitely a, an inclusion in this deck. Uh, Cash decided to go with uh, Shrine of Punishment here. 
uh, as a stadium of choice, playing two of those. Uh, in between turns, you put damage counters on EX or GX. So this just helps a little bit better with math with the Dragapult VMAX to try to take kills with Max Phantom, as there are still a good amount of GX Pokemon in this format. On the supporter cards, place two copies of Bird Keeper here. Uh, we've talked about this a lot, switching and drawing cards. Getting stuff out of the active is sometimes a problem for this Dragapult deck, so especially against item block, Bird Keeper is definitely a solid card. Place four copies of Boss. This is the most copies of Boss we've seen in the list uh, here, uh, I think in top eight, so... Uh, wants to be able to set up math, pick off Pokemon here, and four bosses can allow him to do that. Uh, also playing four copies of Research here, and four copies of Marnie uh, to draw himself some cards, and one copy of Malolana. Interesting thing to note, he is playing no support Pokemon like Crobat or Dedenne in his list, just wants to opt with straight supporters as his consistency here. Uh, so, yeah, doesn't want those easy targets on his bench, which can definitely help him in some matchups here. So that's it for supporter cards. Is playing three copies of a skateboard here. A lot of the Pokemon in this deck, Dragapult, Jirachi, even Zigzagoon, and uh, I believe this Garatina here have one retreat cost. So a skateboard is a great way to give your Pokemon free retreat, get into your Jirachi, get out of the active as Jirachi. Uh, very good card right now in this deck. And then for energy, playing nine energy cards, four horror energy here. Provides psychic energy, and if it gets hit by an attack uh, and damaged, um, you put two damage counters on your opponent's active. So again, damage counters is the name of this deck. Uh, you want to get damage on the on the field and then spread, 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 and take knockouts with max fandom. And then five copies of Psychic Energy, uh, Energy Spinner to find those out. I just want to play a good amount of energy here, even though it is a two energy attacker here. I'll just play a lot of copies of that. So yeah, congratulations to Cash on getting second place here. Uh, and then our first place list, interesting enough, is Santa Scorch VMAX. This is a very, very interesting list of Vinny War Expert taking down the entire tournament here of 64 players with Santa Scorch VMAX. Uh, a deck I think that has been on people's radars a little bit more, uh, but sort of cementing itself in this tournament as a pretty uh, strong archetype here. Obviously, this Santa Scorch VMAX is the main card of the deck. GMAX Centerferno for two colorless, does 40 plus, does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to the Pokemon. And if you do damage, you attach a fire energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So it powers itself up and deals big damage here. Uh, and there is no cap on this damage necessarily. It's only capped how much energy is on this thing. So you can hit for a huge, huge, huge amount of damage here. Uh, and yeah, even set up two shots here. It is pretty bulky. 320 HP does give up three prizes as a VMAX. Uh, but that is the main card in this deck. Uh, you do play some other cards here that I would like to cover. Interesting. We'll go over the support Pokemon here quickly. Three copies of Jirachi. Stellar Wish to find trainer cards. Two copies of Dene for Dead Change. A copy of Crobat here with Dark Acid to draw some cards. And also a copy of Eldegoss here. So four support Pokemon. Uh, GX and V here. Uh, all with their different uh, functionality here. Uh, so wants to improve the consistency as much as he can in this deck uh, as he's playing a whole lot of support Pokemon here. I uh, want to cover these interesting other attackers he's playing. He's playing two copies of Volcanion. This deck primarily wants to go second, and Flare Starter is a great attack to use on your second turn. It lets you search your deck for a Fire Energy attached to one of your Pokemon, but if you go second, you get three Fire Energy from your deck onto your Pokemon. So this allows Santa Scorch Phoenix to get powered up to even have, I think, like you can get six Energy on there or even more turn two if you draw the right cards here. Uh, so Flare Starter is a great attack. High Heat Blast also is pretty solid. If you have four Fire Energy in play, it does 110 for two Energy as a uh, basic one prizer, which is definitely still good in this format. Uh, he is playing one copy of Heatran GX. Wants to have a good GX attack, and Hot Burn is great in this deck. 50 damage for each fire attached to all of your Poke or attached to this Pokemon. Uh, so you can get six energy on here. You're hitting for 300, five, 250, even more if you want to take care of bigger targets here. So Hot Burn is definitely a good attack in this deck. Also, it has Steaming Stomp 130 for three, and Burning Road is a great ability paired with Hot Burn. When it moves to the active spot, you can move any number of fire energy attached to all of your Pokemon on the bench onto Heatran here. So you don't need to just wait here and power up Heatran manually. You can just kind of have energy anywhere and out of nowhere. Bench Heatran, move to the active, and you have a, uh, a huge Hot Burn here to utilize. An interesting card here. Uh, it's the last Pokemon in this deck that we saw played in this winning list here by Vinny was Heatran from Forbidden Light here. It's a good one prize Pokemon here uh, that can deal some solid damage. Boiling Impact is 130 for three. Uh, and discards two energy attached to the Pokemon and Guard Press also can resist damage. Uh, so this is definitely a good answer, I think, to cards like Zamazento is why it was being played. And also against Decidueye, it's a good target here to deal some solid damage. Uh, so wants to have answers to a lot of uh, the things that this deck struggles against, stuff like Decidueye, stuff like Zamazenta. Uh, so yeah, has some good outs here, wants to make sure he does not take a loss to those decks. Uh, and well so, he actually did take down a Zamazenta, uh, Lucario, and Melmetal deck in top 8. Heatran definitely helped him get there. Uh, so yeah, cementing itself in this deck as a definitely useful card. 
Uh, I think not a useless card whatsoever. On the trainer cards, three Pokemon communication, revealing a Pokemon from your hand, put it back in your deck, find any Pokemon. Again, helps you find those stage one Pokemon and even your basic Pokemon if you choose to. Four quick ball, pretty solid stuff. Uh, Benny is often to play two stamp in his deck, uh, wants to disrupt uh, his opponent late game and sort of just roll over him. Four copies of Switch and one copy of Tool Scrapper uh, to get rid of those tools. Again, disruption and putting on aggression is interesting. Uh, he plays five stadium cards in here three different stadiums so three copies of giant hearth discard a card from your hand search for fire energy which pairs great with welder uh to get this deck powered up and find your energies here it's playing heat factory as well discards a fire and draws three so great draw for this deck adds a little bit more consistency in here an interesting card we see come back in a lot of these center scorch decks is wondrous labyrinth prism star card and uh, the attacks of non-fairy Pokemon cost one colorless more, which, honestly, on paper, why do you want to make your attacks cost more? Uh, but the thing is, you usually use Center Scorch VMAX with more than two energy, uh, more than two colorless energy, so it really doesn't matter if you have three energy on here, or four energy, you can still use the attack if Wonder Wondrous Labor is in play, so it pairs really well with this deck. Uh, and also playing two copies of a skateboard, obviously wants to have outs to get Jirachi out of the active here, so playing two copies of a skateboard to maximize his, his consistency of getting Jirachi out and attacking with his many attackers here in this deck. On his supporters, only playing three different supporters here. Four Welder is the main card in this deck here. Letting you attach two fire from your hand and drawing three allows this deck to be as powerful as it is. Draw and acceleration is great uh, and helps fire Pokemon get ready to attack fast. Two copies of Boss here wants to pick off the targets he wants to pick off. Again, all decks are playing Boss right now. Why not play it in the Senna Scorch deck? And two copies of Malolana here to make sure that these big bulky Senna Scorches do not die. Uh, he wants to keep them preserved and up and attacking as long as possible here. So playing two copies of that uh, and also can even use it more with Eldegoss V that he does is playing in his deck and playing 14 energy uh 12 basic fire energy here uh so that he could use that with welder and is playing two copies of heat energy some lists are not playing this but he opted to then he opted to play this heat energy here uh if it's attached to a fire pokemon the, the uh card this attached to it gets 20 more hp uh so even more it makes Santa scorch v max a 340 hp tank an absolute unit 340 hp is definitely definitely solid so good stuff here this list End up taking down the 64 player tournament here. Congratulations to Vinny uh, and congratulations to all of our players here uh, on finishing and playing in this tournament. It was a great tournament. Uh, if you guys want to play, again, check down in the description below uh, for that Discord link where we run the tournaments through. Uh, has all the announcements there and all the links uh, as well as on the social media. Follow me on Twitter. All that stuff will be in the description. And if you want to watch the tournaments live, go check out the Twitch. Link will be in the description. I also stream uh, every day, basically. The tournaments will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and I also do testing because I play this game as well. So go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll have more analysis hopefully coming up sometime in the future here. This is definitely a fun uh, fun video to make. And I enjoyed looking over these decks. I hope this gives you guys a good insight and some good uh, advance in your testing as you guys are preparing for Pog Championships. Coming up on Saturday, I will be streaming that live as well on Twitch. So make sure you guys check that out and follow the channel. And if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe for more content here. We'll have plenty of that coming out here. Just want to thank you guys again for watching. Check out the video. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.